Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my Blood Bowl 2 2018 World Cup Final Preview. Um, as you can see we're down to the final, Silsay versus Ornan, Silsay with Undead, Ornan with Humans. And of course it's going to be a short video because it's the last game, there's only one match to, to do. Um, but you know, let's see what, they, what skills they've picked and uh, do the prediction for the winner. So here is Silsay's team. He's, uh, he's gone with guard on the white there, you know, doesn't really need the mighty blow tackler, I, I guess. The, the mighty blow would only be good on some blitzers. He can blitz with uh, the mummies for mighty blow blitzers. So really the mighty blow tackle would only come into play against catchers. So he's gone for the more reliable guard. I'm all for that. Four guards is, is very nice, isn't it? A couple of block mummies as well, you know, for the reliability. So it's a very, it's a very good team, to be honest. Very good. I mean, Undead are super strong anyway. Um, at low TV and yeah that's really nice two block guard mummies is, is incredible and uh, yeah I, I like that he's gone more guard I, I you know <laughs> I'm all for guard in this kind of format um, you know he could have even gone a, a block guard ghoul but he's gone for two which which I also like you know you, you've got to keep your ghouls protected um, you don't want them getting taken out by you expect everybody to have a mighty blow tackler who you play basically in this format so you know having having the defense for the ghouls is essential i guess he could have maybe he's gone wrestle on one but um you know this is ab absolutely fine skill choices 12 players um obviously he's gone four ghouls that, that shouldn't be a an argument i guess you can argue for three ghouls and 13 players but um yeah you know it's 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 basically exactly what you'd expect for an undead team in this format and it's they're they're a bit weak in game one i think undead but by the time they get the final they're looking super strong um Silse has beaten three human teams on his way to the final so he's he's got a feel for the matchup however um he was he was caught bang to rights by Velahopier and then Velahopier you know his offense he, he elf stalled a bit and Velahopier kind of lost control of the game from his own fault basically I, I don't I'm not I'm not being mean to Velahopier here you know he 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 said the same himself he he let that one slip away a little bit but the other two, you know, Silsay just dominated the human team. So, yeah, I think I think both sides will actually be pretty confident in this match. But yeah, that's that's it. Um, I asked him some questions, and <laughs> he he would go with the three vampire team, um, which is which is there you go. It's a, he thinks Blood Bowl memes are bad as well. They're they're they're, they're the two things worth mentioning really. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's it's a great team, and he's he's played well during the tournament. And here is Ornan's choice. <laughs> He's gone for the memes of shadowing. <laughs> and that's because he actually has won the Rebel um, tournament before. Um, the Rebel tournament, the Rebel League. And he, in doing so, he had a guy with shadowing. Um, and so he, he said that he would take shadowing for the final if he got the final. And he has kept his word. And it's a bit crap, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very marginal, you know. Block on the catcher or the thrower would have been way better. Um, to be fair, he did he did have skills on the others. He could have taken mighty blow, I guess, on the blitzer, but he couldn't take more guard. Um, so it's not it's not horrific that he's taken that he's taken the shadowing there, but it's uh, <laughs> it's unlikely to be very good. I mean, it, it could it could trigger on a, on a white maybe sometimes, or it could trigger any player. But like on a white, I guess you've got movement advantage. And it could even trigger if he bases a ghoul with it, but it's unlikely to have any effect. Um, the two tackle are good against four ghouls. The pom, maybe not so good against mummies because mummies can kind of, you know, lock the uh, blitzer out of the game potentially. Um, obviously the block guard ogre to fight the block guard mummies is fine. Um, it's interesting, he's got five guards, so he's only got one more guard than the undead. And and yeah, un undead have really caught up to humans. I think in it, it, you know, but this particularly this human team, you know, Ornan had to take tackle to fight the Amazons, and he chose to go piling on mighty blow. If he'd taken tackle mighty blow, then uh, maybe he'd be in a bit of better spot now. But you know, the Pom has done him well. He's 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 basically beaten up everybody he's played, even the Orcs. He he had equal armor breaks. So if he can he's got thirteen players. I didn't really didn't like thirteen players and two re rolls. I much prefer twelve players and three re rolls. But again, you know, he's he's never been short of re rolls really. Um 
you know, now obviously everyone who, <laughs> to get the fan, you're going to have to have a bit of luck, but um, he's played pretty much perfectly in every game he's played, you know, um, particularly the bash mirrors that he's had, he's he's played great in all of those. He made one bit of a slip up against me, but you know, he, he, he got away with it and uh, yeah, you know, and it was only a marginal thing. Um, against me but yeah all, all the bash games he just was completely in control all the time so yeah it's going to be very interesting um i should have said actually that onan qualified through rebel and silse qualified through franco ball and um, they both got silse has got franco ball all stars in his name and uh onan's got rebel rampage so it's good that they're both representing the league they qualified from that's good isn't it and uh yeah that's that's it i mean both 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 coaches are great both teams are Oh, well, <laughs> this is a bit jankier with the shadowing, but both teams are still good. You know, humans are still strong, even though they're not going to get that much value out of the shadowing. They've got the extra guard on the catcher, which is which really, you know, really helps them at this TV. Right, so there's my pick, Onan, to to win it all for Rebel. Um, you know, I, I, I again, this is uh, this is just for fun. You know, and either of these guys could win. They're both really good. You know, they're both probably going to play really good. Um, I don't think there's too much difference with them in in skill overall skill level. Of course, in on the on the day one could play a lot better than the other. Um, you know, someone could have a bad day, someone could make a huge mistake or whatever. Um, I do think the undead team is better, um, better built. Of course, that was a bit by necessity with Ornan. He had to take the well. He felt he had to take the tackle to beat the Amazons, and and he won. So you know, it was it was certainly justified taking the tackle against the Amazons. But even that's not bad to have a couple of tackle against four ghouls. So the only thing really is the shadowing. But you know, fair play to him for going for the meme pick of shadowing is uh, is pretty funny. Um, so <laughs> so yeah, I'll 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 go for Ronan. Um, but you know, again, any anything can happen, and hopefully it'll be a great match. Um, it's going to happen today. Um, at 16.30 UTC. I'll be streaming it and putting the replay on YouTube. So, you know, you could do feel free to watch that if you want. Uh, Focus will also be doing an official cast. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.